Let's start with this non-binary employee who says she's taken it upon herself to ignore any instructions given at work that use gendered language, like, I don't know, ladies. So I've taken it upon myself as someone that is non-binary to use this uh, to not listen. And whenever anyone addresses a group as ladies, I am not included. So when they say, hey, ladies, let's like stop talking or hey, ladies, let's like get to work. I will do none of it because you're not talking to me. You're not talking to me. You're not talking to me. So I will not listen to anything that is said when it is started with, hey, ladies, I'm a lady, not a lady, a lady. Baby is not a word. It's not a word. But here is something non-gendered that her employer should be saying to her, and it's, you're fired. You're done, love. Now, here is a trans activist who's also apparently an early childhood music specialist. Watch him sing about how gender is not real and that the idea of he and she is just a myth. Listen to these lyrics. Day a child asked of me, can a boy become a girl? I said the idea of he and she is just a myth, you see. Cause gender's just pretend, yeah, gender's just pretend. Though people will say that I am wrong. Gender's just pretend, yeah, gender's just You'll see it's true before too long. It's actually quite catchy, isn't it? I mean, if you ignore the lyrics, the toxic lyrics, like I, I don't mind the tune. Uh, now, early in the show, I spoke to Douglas Murray about actions and consequences with sanctuary city mayors getting a taste of the devastating consequences of the open border policies that they pushed. And here is an even more personal example of a lefty finding out the hard way what happens when you push Marxist policies. Meet far-left Minneapolis activist and vice chairwoman of the Democratic Farmer Labor Party, Shivanti Sathrandan. Here she is pushing a BLM talking point. It was back in June 2020 she you remember the, the summer of love, the, all that violence across America? She wrote in a post on Facebook, we are going to dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. Say it with me, dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. So if you've got clapping signs there, she really means it. But after she was carjacked in her own driveway, she posted this on social media recently. She said, look at my face. Remember me when you are thinking about supporting, letting juveniles and young people out of custody to roam our streets instead of holding them accountable for their actions. Thank you to the incredible Minneapolis 4th Precinct officers, Mayor Frey, Chief O'Hara. Oh, my God, what a transformation that is. Now, let's go to the US Open where climate crazies were losing it but it took only a few seconds for the crowd to turn on these lefties who were shouting about fossil fuels. Yes, they do suck. Now to Venice, where the star and director of The Promised Land were left... Uh, visibly dumbfounded, when a Danish reporter kept asking them about their film's lack of diversity. Uh, this is a cast and a Danish production, which is entirely Nordic. It uh, therefore has some lack of diversity, you would say, as also new rules are implied in what? Hollywood. What are you going to? <laughs> uh, sorry, but from the get-go. Uh, from the get-go, there is said some... Okay. Well, first of all, the film <laughs> takes place in Denmark in the 1750s. Uh, if you didn't catch that, the film's director there, Mads Mikkelsen, said that, well, the film took place in Denmark in the 1750s. Maybe that might explain the lack of uh, cultural diversity that was uh, upsetting that Danish reporter.